Now, a powerful typhoon made landfall in Tokyo on Monday, killing at least one and injuring dozens. Thousands have been warned to evacuate and planes have been grounded. EG1 tells us more. Japan was lashed by strong winds and heavy rainfall as Typhoon Bindele landed around noon on Monday. The typhoon, the ninth to hit Japan this year, made landfall in Tokyo and then moved north through the Tohoku region. Along the way, it swept through the cities of Ome and Iruma, which saw record rainfall of about 100 millimeters per hour and winds of up to 180 kilometers per hour, prompting Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's office to issue a landslide warning. In Kanagawa Prefecture, a 58-year-old woman was seriously injured and later died in hospital. Swelling rivers and mudslides damaged houses and other facilities in the typhoon's wake. So far, 850,000 people have been told to evacuate. If the windows are broken, the wind will get in and lift the roof away, so we are worried about that. The typhoon also shut down railroads and the control tower at Narita International Airport, resulting in the cancellation of more than 500 flights. I came here before 9 a.m., so I've been waiting here for about three hours. It's been canceled and nothing has been scheduled. The Japan Meteorological Agency expects up to 200 millimeters of rainfall for Hokkaido, Japan's northernmost island, by Tuesday evening. And with another typhoon, Lion Rock, expected to arrive by Thursday, Japan remains on high alert. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.